Hey guys, welcome back. This is PuzzleCon, collaboration and contact center instructor at voicebootcamp.com. And in this video, we're going to focus on understanding what is Q and how to configure them and manage them. Now, Q is basically probably one of the most important tasks in creating contact center where the call will be held to store your or hold the call while the agents are either available, uh, becomes available to answer your contact or even select a, gro a group of uh, agent from that particular queue. Now, how many queues you can create will depend on your account. There are certain quota limitations in terms of queue, queue per instance, and you can take a look at the service quota console on Amazon uh, Connect or uh, Amazon account. So let's say if I were to look at my own company and I w let's say I'm building this for my organizations, I will have couple of queues, right? I have sales queue, I have support queue. Now, even in sales queue, I might create a sales for training and sales for self-study kit, like elearning.voicebootcamp.com, or I can create a queue for support. So for now, let's create uh, two sales uh, uh, group. One will be, let's say, um, uh, sales for classroom training, and one will be sales for self-study kit. And then we will have another queue which will be handled by for support because we have product supports, uh, classroom supports, lab access support, whatnot. So, and you may create other queues like customer service queue, for example, let me maybe customer has a problem with their billing, maybe there's a customer issues with the payment, stuff like that. So we're gonna create a couple of queues based on that. So queues are created by going to your navigations and you can click on queue. Obviously, when you create a queue, you specify uh, certain settings on the queue. So let's go and take a look at that. So we're going to go to queue and I'm going to create a queue. Let's call this queue sales classroom training. Okay. So sales queue for classroom training. And the reason why I segregate them because you may have because most of our training are geared toward business to business, so we have a def different team that handles that, and we may have a diff uh, most of our self study kit are geared toward business to consumer or BC B two C, and we may have a separate sales team focusing on that. Right. So business office hours. I'm on the East Coast. I will select East Coast office hours, and obviously you have some caller ID requirement. Uh, which is like voice bootcamp sales team uh, phone number usually your contact center number and any flow outbound whisper flow anything that you want i'm not going to uh, select any of this stuff maximum number of contact you can set a limit um maybe five calls at a time can be waiting in the queue and anything and if it exceed that then i can take an action saying sorry all our queues are full please call back later um, that's that's the configuration that I can do in the flow uh, flow cases. So this is going to be my first sales classroom training. I will create another one. Sales, let's say uh, e-learning training a study kit. Same phone number, but the different caller ID. Again, you gotta make sure that this name that you, you wanna use, you register with the Amazon Connect because otherwise they may not be available. Again, the same number of calls, five calls in a queue. So as you can see, two queues has been created, sales classroom, sales e-learning. Now I want to create another queue called support, because uh, two other queues. However, we do need to, I'm, I'm gonna show you how to do that using the CLI configurations, right? Because the CLI is another way of creating and managing your account. So when you log into your CLI, and if you're not familiar with how to install CLI, please take a look at the documentations available on AWS. I'm gonna do is AWS connect configure. Um, and I've already defined my keys, my uh, IDs. I've also, def I'm gonna be on US East Coast. And then I'm going to put the default outbound format, JSON, which is by default none. And I'm right now connected. So next step is to create uh, the CLI's command that allows me to create uh, a queue. Now, before you can do that, you do need certain information. 
For example, what we're going to do, we're going to specify uh, a command that says AWS connect create queue. So this is going to be, uh, we're going to say AWS connect and then sub command is called create queue. But then we need to specify the instance ID and instance ID must be found on your account. If you go to your instance, for example, this is your instance. You click on this little uh, VBC pod and here you'll see your ARN and the instance ID is this part. So I'm going to copy that. I'm going to paste it right here. So, but before you paste it, there, there's a command called dash dash instance ID and then the value. So first you type the command AWS connect space create dash Q dash dash instance ID dash ID space and then the value of the ID. Next step is to define the name of the queue. So dash dash name uh, uh, and then you provide the name. So I'm going to call this support. Now support team can handle both uh, uh, classroom training support as well as e-learning. So I don't have to separate them. Uh, description. So let's say description wise, I will put something like uh, for for support. I'll just put a very simple, see, so just to understand. Now you do need to specify the hours of operation as well. So we need to get the hours of operation ID as well. So we can get that information from wherever we are right here. So go back to your hours operation and we want to use the East Coast, right? So if you click on the East Coast right here, show additional hours information. If you expand that, you'll find the ARN address and it is usually the last uh, field. That's my hours of operation. Now, hours of operation, hours dash of operations dash ID. So you have to specify that. And after hours dash of dash operation dash ID, I will put that information in. So technically it's now gonna create, if everything works fine, it's gonna create, uh, okay, so there is an error, error in the hours of operation. I'm going to delete this. I think it should be operation, not operations, but I'm just, I, I just copy and paste. Yeah, it's operation. There wasn't one extra S in the, uh, after the operation. So it's hours of operation. I'm gonna copy that so that you can note it down. Uh, obviously you have to su supplement that with your own. Uh, let's see if I can copy it. Okay, so this would be the command. Let's increase the font size. There you go. So this is the command. So you can note it down. You can always substitute, substitute it with your own values in there. Okay, so, oops. So now I'm gonna hit enter. Now, before I hit enter, so this, see this is incorrect. I'm going to copy that again. I may have fat fingered it. Okay, so now what I'm going to do before I hit enter, I'm going to go to my our uh, queue. You notice I I only have basic queue, sales classroom training, sales e learning test queue. I'm going to refresh it. There is no other queue available. Now I'm going to hit enter. Okay, so this gives you a JSON script and it tells you the QURN has been created, QID has been created. And if I were to refresh it here, I have the support queue right there. So like that, you can create another queue called customer service. So I can, I'm just gonna go and change the name. Customer service queue and description will be for general support okay and everything else will remain the same okay and like this you create your queue from the cli as well as from your web uh, web interface now obviously there are additional uh additional configurations that you may you can configure here 
as you can see uh, the name has been there the descriptions you can modify it from here as well there are some outbound configurations that you can specify like outbound caller id um, you do have to add additional uh, keyword now i'm gonna i'm gonna show you some of the total um, command available so right here so these are some of the command that you can use to create your queue from the CLI. So, so far I've just used so these, these few of them, but there are a few other options you can specify like maximum contact, quick connect IDs, the tags, and some you know other additional input and output that you need. I'm not gonna cover all of them. Feel free to take a look at the CLI documentation for further details on that. Now, once the queue is created, your next step, of course, to assign the queue. Now, you can always come in and manually assign other value. Even though the queue was created through the CLI, you can use the web interface to make changes. So, for example, I want to say, okay, voice bootcamp, uh, this is customer service, right? For number and for maximum contact set to five. Just like that, you would do the same thing for support. Save. Now, if you want to disable a queue for, for some reason, so let's say I don't want to use this queue that's been sitting there, uh, I want to disable it, I can uncheck this option. That queue can no longer be used for any purposes. You, if you have a large number of queues, for example, you can always use the add a filter to add a description. Uh, you can say filter by support, and it's only going to list the support. Now, obviously, it is a uh, case sensitive, so you, uh, you might want to say four underscore support, and it will list only the support. So, if you have a large number of queues, uh, you want to kind of uh, shorten the list feel free to do so using the filtering options. All right, so that's it for this video. Hopefully you understand how queue works, uh, how to create the queue. I'll show you in the next subsequent video how to associate the queue with your routing profile and make a call to show you how queue works. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next video.